Hi folks and welcome to Straight Trippin' Jiu-Jitsu. Today we have a fun little match with Jack Knife Cameron on the bottom, 4th degree Judo black belt and a Jiu-Jitsu black belt. And on top we've got Mike the Machine Cameron, blue belt, no relation. Now Mike is looking to pass the guard here, he feels it's a bit too sticky. Walking into that Venus flytrap that is Jack Cameron's butterfly guard. Decides to try to dance around on the outside a little bit, make some space, and get some angles. He decides to grab a head and arm here. Very dangerous in this position. Jack goes to turtle position, and Mike spins around to the back. Trying to take the back, he falls off to the side. And Jack grabs his head and pulls it down. Let's take a look at that and see what went wrong. So Mike's in a nice front headlock position here. And he decides to go over to the side. Uses a short, shallow grip on the hip here. And then he reaches in for a seatbelt. But there's just so much space between his chest and Jack's back. There's no control there. And he just falls off to the side. No fire hook. Can't control the back. And then Jack grabs the head and puts some pressure on. Mike ends up eventually relenting and going to his back. There's just no way he can hold on. Jack does a great job. Get on top here. Starts framing on the chest, pinning Mike flat on his back, which is where you don't want to be. They do a little bit of hand fighting here, pummeling for position. And Mike decides to go for an arm drag, gets the arm across his chest line, but Jack frames on the biceps, flattens Mike out again, and postures up. Mike's trying to hold on with his guard, looking for an angle, and then Jack sees the knee brace. Goes for the straight ankle lock, because in Maritime Jiu-Jitsu, it's no gi, no mercy. If you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, share to your friends, tell everyone you know. Straight tripping is here. Back to the action, Mike is still on his feet, circling, looking for an entry. Jack gives him some back exposure and Mike dives in, ready for another weak-ass seatbelt. Falls over to the side, Jack defends it well, hands in tight, not giving Mike any opportunities to find a spot for submission. Mike tries to get the hooks in, but the top hook isn't that helpful in this position. He really needs to get that bottom hook in to get some more control. And Jack goes to turtle again. Jack looks to grab that wrist there. Mike pulls it away quickly. Good recognition by Mike. Then Mike posts on Jack's head, making him posture up just enough so he can grab that head and arm guillotine. An excellent setup. This is Mike's game. He loves to get this position here. But Jack is doing a good job framing on the hips here, framing on the knee. Pushing away and making space, making it difficult for Mike to compress the neck down into his choking arm. Mike recognizes Jack's getting his butterfly guard back and he backs out quickly. Jack up on his feet, judo black belt. This isn't where Mike wants to be. Ow! Jack attacks the knee brace immediately without hesitation. Gets up on top. Now looking to pass the guard. Mike looks like he's trying to... Perhaps attack the left arm, but Jack's not giving him any space here. He gets a nice side control. Cross face, grinding his face to the mat. And then looks like he's trying to expose an arm here. Mike is turning into him, trying to get off his back. Jack is not, not being very nice here. He's spinning around to the other side now. Nice top spin, trying to flatten Mike out again. Getting the cross face. Mike's trying to defend the cross face arm. But to no avail. Gets flattened out. Jack has got good control here. Nice base. Mike decides to turn around. Go to turtle. Because he can't turn into Jack. But Jack is maintaining a lot of pressure on the hips here. Mike tries to go to turtle. But to no avail. Can't get it. And then Jack looks like he's trying to set up a uh, crucifix. As he's controlling one arm and he tries to roll through, but he can't grab the other arm. Then he goes for the arm bar and it's not there either. An excellent attempt by Jack. 
Mike on the feet again, dancing around as if it's the first seconds of the round. No fatigue showing on his endless gas tank. And he's now looking to pass the guard. Pushes down on the foot nicely and gets past that. Starts turning his hips in. Needs to occupy the space between the hip and the elbow. He's got a nice back wrap here. Perfect. Perfect. Trying to flat, flatten Jack out. Or is he? Looks more like he's going for the head and arm guillotine again. Beautiful setup. And that's time. What a fantastic round. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.